Hey guys, Redbeard back again. This time I'm going to be doing a review, a uh, post hike review on the water filter that I used. This is the Sawyer Mini water filter. Um, this is one of the few things in my pack that I, uh, that over time I realized that I really just did not like this filter. Um, for the first two months I used this filter daily. Um, and it, and it worked pretty good for the most part. Now it did clog quite a bit, so the plunger that comes with the filter, I definitely highly recommend bringing that with you if you're gonna use this filter. Um, I will say this was definitely the most used filter on the AT. I, uh, people, everyone had this filter. Um, also, probably the second most used was the bigger version of the Sawyer. Um, between the two, I would recommend the bigger version, not the mini, and I'll go over that here in just a little bit. But uh, some of the things that I liked about this filter is exactly what I said in my, my previous video regarding the filter. Um, I love how small it is, how you can just attach it right to your water bottle. This is the, uh, the water bottles that I used. I used the Platypus collapsible bottles. Um, it attaches good. Um, however, over time, you will notice that the threading, and I had read this and seen this in other people's reviews, that it starts to not attach very well. Um, it really, I, you know, it's hard to say. I, I would buy, I bought multiple platypuses like this because uh, these only last a certain amount of time. Um, some of them it worked fine with, like this one. It, it stayed attached almost all the time. You just have to make sure you don't over tighten it. If you do, it will ruin the thread on the Sawyer and it will leak. Um, so as long as you're gentle with it when you're attaching it, you shouldn't have too many issues. But I did notice that some some threadings on some of the bottles it, it didn't work right with. Um, so that's one issue, leaking in the thread. Um, like I said, the other issue is the clogging. It does clog a lot. Um, a very popular thing on the trail now are uh, Mio's where you can add flavor to your water. If you're going to do that using the Sawyer Mini, it will still come through uh, it won't filter out the flavor, but it will clog it extremely fast. So if you're planning on using any type of flavor additives to your water, definitely filter and squeeze the water out first uh, and then add the flavoring. That, that makes sense, but uh, I got pretty lazy and would just pour it in there. You'll find that if you're doing a long through hike, you just want to cut out all the extra steps. So um, another thing uh, regarding this filter is if you are going to just drink it straight, like I said, because it clogs, it will, the flow rate is really poor. So if you're going to be squeezing it out, a lot of people were switching from the Sawyer Mini that they started with to the full size Sawyer, which isn't much bigger. I think it weighs maybe an, an ounce or an ounce and a half more. Uh, the flow rate on the bigger Sawyer is much better than the flow rate on the Sawyer Mini. Hopefully that's something that Sawyer will improve on for the next edition of this filter because I really do like the filter. I like how small it is, um, but like I said, it just it, it doesn't really work quite well the way it is right now. So what did I do, you might ask, after the two months of just being kind of sick and tired of this filter and having to deal with it? I went 100% no filter. That might seem a little crazy, but for the last five months on the trail, I did not filter my water at all and never got sick. Um, obviously, if you're going to do something like that, you have to be much pickier about the water that you're drinking from. I only drank from springs um, and only a few instances did I drink from like streams uh, and that was when I was high up in the mountains and kind of in the middle of nowhere. You'll find that if you are through hiking the Appalachian Trail that when you get to New York, Pretty much New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, those areas, the water sources are extremely bad. Luckily, if you do attempt to start with a filter like this and it does crap out on you like it did for me, there's always other people with filters. So you will always be hiking with someone. You can always use it or just pick up a pump style filter. But I never did because I personally, like I said, I chose not to filter my water and had no issues doing so. You could use the uh, Aquamira or whatever it's called, uh, you know, the, the drops um, and do that. But I just found that that took too much time. I did pick some of those up. But, uh, you know, I just, once you get used to using a filter like this, which requires no waiting time, especially if you just attach it and then go, um, I just didn't have the patience to sit down and wait 15 to 20 minutes to uh, mix the solutions and pour it into my water. So, like I said, I went no filter and I had no issues. But uh, obviously, I can't recommend that for everybody. Um, but really, the water sources that I came across on the AT, except for New York, Connecticut, and Massachusetts, um, 
were fine and I've never carried a filter my entire life backpacking I have always been filterless and just drank from the streams I've never had issues that I know of maybe there's something hidden inside me that I'm not aware of but however like I said if you if you're gonna be using this basically just on like a weekend uh, outing or something like that totally would recommend this filter because you know it really isn't gonna clog for just a basic overnight or a weekend trip or a few day trip um, Carry the plunger anyways, just in case, but like I said, you shouldn't have too many issues. But on a long distance through hike, you will, you will find that you'll have issues with this filter. A lot of people were actually taking this apart. They were removing um, a portion of this filter. I, I don't even know, honestly. They were, they, they were really messing with the filter and getting a better flow rate. However, I don't know if that was uh, you know causing it to not filter uh, like it should. Um, so that's something that you might want to research and look into. But like I said, overnight trip or a few day trip, definitely recommend this filter. Long distance through hike, this is one of the few things in my pack that I really would not recommend. In fact, if I was going to carry a filter um, on the next through hike, I would probably go with some type of pump style filter. I know they're a bit heavier and bulkier, but um, really they're fail proof. Um, so that's probably what I would recommend however I probably won't ever carry a filter I prefer not filtering my water um, and just being extra picky granted I'm sure the first time I get sick I might change uh, you know my outlook on that but for now that's kinda of the way I go so Sawyer mini filter pretty good filter um, recommend it short trips long distance trip probably would not recommend this filter go with a pump style or go with the drops or go no filter um, if you guys have any other questions regarding the Soria Mini, please reach out to me, Redbeard out.